Hey guys, what's up? This is Recreational420 and today we're going to talk about the show Disjointed again just because I have some stuff I need to apologize for and some things I need to say, clear some stuff up. Maybe I was a little aggressive <laughs> and I'll go over that here. So basically, these are cool videos and I'm actually starting to like these a lot more because so the biggest thing that I want and like that I don't have in my actual life is like a bunch of friends that I can just talk to about the shit that I watch and I enjoy. So that's kind of the void you guys are filling. And like, as far as I see, as far as I can see in the future, um, which is pretty far actually, you'd be surprised. Um, <laughs> like, I don't see myself not doing this. So essentially what I'm gonna try to do is like, <clears throat> make you guys my friends and not even just my friends, but like my best friends, the people that I really talk to, the people that I like give, you know, my opinion to and the people that I'm willing to, you know, change my opinions for. Like, this is one of these things where maybe I'm not changing my opinion all the way, but I'm definitely more like open to other ideas because of the conversations we had. And like that, that's, that's like, I don't know, that's cool as fuck to me because like, I don't, like I said, I don't talk about a lot of normal things like if you guys hung out with me in my real life you would understand that i am obsessed <laughs> with business and i am obsessed with like marketing and money and all this kind of stuff like it's insane that's really all i talk about so this is kind of like a weird i don't know why but like i feel more comfortable um with with, with speaking about just traditional things here whereas like when i'm in person with somebody i almost like i guess what i do is like i i see the, the 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 value of people and i see things that like i see the, the potential in people and so when i see that potential in them i, I just I, I can't let them go without like spitting a little bit of that into their brain and saying like hey this is what i see in you and like i think you could do this kind of stuff and so that kind of always dictates and takes over the conversation um <laughs> it's it's something i need to work on because not everybody's is you know about business and about marketing and about that kind of stuff as much as i am um but that's what you guys are for right you guys are going to help me with that so one of the cool things about this is like i said is the conversation um and one of the things that I realized right away is I took this shit way too personal. And what I mean by that is like these people didn't weren't trying to attack the culture when they made the show. They were they were just doing the best that they could. And like I went in with certain expectations. So first of all, um, I want to say so and I'll, I'll break down three different opinions um one that's like 50 50 one that's like agreeing with me they didn't like the show and another one that disagrees with me and that really liked the show so judah seeds he's kind of like in the 50 50 what he kind of like what i got the feel for and you're welcome to like leave it down in the comment section and let me know if i'm wrong but what i kind of figured um from your responses in our interaction was that <clears throat> they uh that you this is a show that maybe you you wouldn't like throw on you know to, to watch for the third time um it, it, once you've seen it once you're kind of like done with it until the next season comes up um but you're not necessarily against it like there's things you like things you didn't like and so you're like one of those 50 50 like eh, i didn't you know i didn't feel some type of way either way it was just a, an enjoyable show to, to to watch and not think about um and, and like so as we were going through our conversation i can't remember specifically and i wish i wasn't recording on my phone so i could go through it um but at one point you mentioned something about the fact that like i don't know something about content creators and then <clears throat> uh that'll guide me or that leads me into pyro pothead who did mention specifically him as a content creator he felt what i felt like and i i hadn't gone through the thought process of like breaking that down in my brain yet so i hadn't thought that through before i made that angry ass video <laughs> so what i realized as soon as i read his comment was like oh shit that's what i did is i put my because i am a content creator and like this is literally all i do at this point like i just i felt personally attacked because i'm like that's not what i do and i'm trying to be so fucking far from that that like it just it hurts it bothered me to like it hurt my soul <laughs> to see what i do kind of like i guess what it was is it felt like they were making fun of what i do but here's the thing they didn't make this show for me they didn't know who the fuck i was and i need to not be so like oh what was me about it because this isn't about me <laughs> like
<laughs> and as soon as I read that, I, I mean, I started laughing. I told my girlfriend, I was like, dude, this, this is how stupid I was. And like, I can't believe like somebody who sits here and analyzes shit didn't sit there and analyze this and see how clear as day. That was why I felt so you know some type of way about it <laughs> and then you had people like cassandra cassandra she she talked about it uh on tuesday which is today tomorrow i'm gonna upload this thing um on wednesday so um she was talking she was saying like hey look this is a really good show and like again she mentioned the fact that you don't have to think much um and, and here's the thing i will give you that there are points in times where like i do laugh at you know the shit that like dabby and uh dank do or dank and dabby do like they are kind of funny and sometimes yeah the, the, so like those are the parts that like you know i'm gonna go back for and i'm gonna take away my expectation of them like advocating for us as content creators because you know i guess you know and it's not i guess it's there is stereotypes and there is people who act that way whether i act that way or not doesn't matter <laughs> when it comes to evaluating a show um <laughs> and and I shouldn't have put so much like of my own personal like ugh, about it. So I just want to um, first off, I want to apologize if, uh, <laughs> for being such a dick about it. I guess, and it's not that I was being a dick. It's just that you know I I don't know. I, I got to figure out how to how to communicate with people. <laughs> so I do appreciate the opportunity from you guys who actually responded. And responded with things that like you know I, I challenged my opinion because that that's really how that's how people grow man like <laughs> if you're one of those people that says I'm right and everybody else is wrong you're gonna have a hard time getting through life um, but yeah so anyway <clears throat> I just want to clear that up uh, I will go back and watch it I haven't watched it again yet um, but I just I wanted to make this video just because I, I I just want to say thanks i guess to those of you who actually took the time to like comment and stuff because if you guys didn't comment i'd still be sitting in my own head saying like what i was saying before and it's it's such a limiting kind of like way of thinking that i, it, I feel dumb for even <laughs> thought that way in the first place but anyway i'm about to hit this real quick And with that, this has been Recreational 420. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll be back again with you guys soon.